We are heading to the doctor right now. I have my handsome chauffeur driving me to support me and be there for me. I'll of keep course. you guys posted. Here we are. We are in the room. We are waiting to see the doctor. I'm very, very anxious. I'm glad my husband's here with me. I'm here to support my wife. So we are back from the appointment and I don't know where to start. It really was not a great doctor's visit. Um, my biggest fear going into this was that my concerns were going to be minimized, diminished, and brushed aside. Like, that happened to me in the beginning when I first noticed lumps in my neck. I actually had a doctor yell at, I have a video about this, I actually had a doctor yell at me and tell me that the only thing that was wrong with me was that I was Googling too much and touching my neck too much. And com just acted like I was crazy, completely minimized and diminished me. And guess what? A few weeks later, I ended up being diagnosed with cancer. You also had an ultrasound that said yes. it wasn't cancerous, and then you had to plead to get investigated further with a biopsy. Yes. So I also, so I had a very tough experience in the beginning trying to get a diagnosis um, where a lot of doctors minimized what I was going, a lot of doctors minimized my symptoms. And basically told me I was fine and I was not fine and I even had an ultrasound I have a video about this too where in the big very beginning about a year ago I had an ultrasound and the ultrasound results said that it was benign there was nothing wrong and again less than a month later the same lymph nodes that the ultrasound says was benign turned out to be cancer so I've gone through it and I don't trust these doctors and I also don't like the way doctors have treated me in the past. So I went into this appointment worried that I was gonna be dealing with a similar scenario. Although this doctor has not treated me that way till this point, um, there really hasn't been a situation like this up to this point. By the time I started working with this doctor, I was already diagnosed with cancer. So he was basically just, you know, prescribing the chemotherapy and monitoring my symptoms and ordering scans and things like that. So I hadn't really come to him with an issue like this before. So how did he enter the room? You saw it. So I knew that the tone of the appointment was not going to go well because of he literally walked into the room saying something along the lines of, you know, that being a survivor can sometimes be even more difficult than being a cancer patient because there's so much anxiety. And I was sitting there like, oh my God, he's going to start telling me that this is just anxiety. Now, I'm not denying that I have anxiety, but I have lumps in my neck. I can feel lumps in my neck. My I, husband... I, I feel them too. There's <laughs> about four or five, three on one side, two on the other. Um, and you definitely feel like movement, like a like a bead or a small hard P or something. It's, it's notably there. Yes. So, like, I'll admit I have anxiety. I'll admit I worry about getting cancer again, which is normal, given all I've gone through. But I'm not making up symptoms. I am not imagining lumps in my neck. There are lumps in my neck. So he's like, you know, we looked at your scans. Everything looked to be within the normal range. And I'm like, well, that's odd to me because of, you know, I'm happy to hear if my chest, abdomen, and pelvis are in the normal range. But if my, how is my neck in the normal range? If I feel things in my neck that were not there a few weeks ago. So then he's like, okay, let me examine your neck. So I sit down and I'm like trying to show him. I'm like, there's a lump here, there's a lump here. And he's like, no, no, no. The, the Calm neck, down. The neck exam is something like this, although I'm not a medical professional. It almost visually yeah. looks like a massage. Yeah. So he's like, I'm going to check your neck the way I check patients' necks. And I was like, okay, do what you want to do. I want to show you where the problem areas are. But you, he's like, let me do my thing, lady, basically. And I was like, okay. So then he basically, I knew he wasn't going to find anything because he basically very lightly went doo, 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 doo. Then he's like, I don't feel anything. Everything feels fine. And I was like, okay, can I show you where the problem is? So then I pointed out and I was like, feel right here, feel right here. And then he admitted that there was lymph nodes that were enlarged in my neck. He admitted it. He was like, okay, you're right. And 
What's crazy to me is that if I wasn't vigilant about checking my neck and I was just going in for a regular appointment, he would have went, yep, all clear, you're good, good to go. Like he didn't even notice those lumps. But then when I pointed out several lumps to him, he admitted, he's like, yes, I feel it. He's like, but the reason it's not showing up as abnormal in the CT scan is because of they're not big enough to be considered pathological. I guess a lymph node, you know, lymph nodes can get bigger or smaller for different reasons. They wax and wane according yeah, that's to what, what he the said. doctor said. It was like said. lymph nodes can wax and wane and them getting larger um, doesn't necessarily mean cancer, which I know that, but it obviously could. And in my case, obviously, I would be very suspicious that it could mean that since of I've already had lymphoma and that was my initial symptom was lumps in my neck. Um, but he's like, this, that yes, they are enlarged. Yes, he was able to feel them, but they weren't large enough to the point to be considered pathological. That, and that's why the CT scan of my neck also showed up clear because of even though the there are lymph nodes that are bigger, they're still within what's considered, I guess, the range of normal. They're not pathological. Yeah, so but the, you can feel them in my yeah. neck. I usually can. Now, since I've had lymphoma, I'm very vigilant and, you know, checking my neck every day. And most of the time when I give, do a quick check in my neck, it makes me feel good afterwards. I feel relieved. I don't feel anything. But then just last week when I felt my neck, I was like, oh, what is that? That was never there before. Granted, it's not ginormous, but isn't the whole point of checking your neck to notice any changes? Isn't the point to for early detection? So that way, if we see any red flags, we want to investigate them further to ensure that it's not cancer. And later on in the later on in the visit, um, the doctor strongly recommended um, Faith to not do the bad habit of assessing and checking her neck constantly. Really, like bad that, that's a bad habit you shouldn't be checking it that often like you don't want me to notice if there's something wrong so i told him i was like okay so now you feel the lumps in my neck although i had to show them to you for you to notice them which was appalling enough but you wanted now, him to put in, put in writing that he acknowledged these lumps and then well what that's happened? when i started getting angry what but happened after we're not that? up to that yet a few weeks ago i wasn't feeling anything there and now i am feeling something there and it has gradually been getting bigger over the past week and he's like well i'm not denying that but it's still not up to the size of being pathological i'm like so what am i supposed to do wait till it's golf ball size till you're going to do anything about it and then yeah, I started getting upset. I was crying and I was saying I have a two-year-old son. I have, you know, parents that are getting older that they're going to need me. I was like, I cannot just let this go. Like, this is very serious. And I was literally crying. And I was like, are you going to put that in writing for me that you feel a lump in my neck, but you can guarantee me that it's not cancer and you're not going to do anything about it? And then he literally got so pissed off that he got up and left. He left in the middle of the appointment. He's like, he's like, I feel myself getting angry, so I'm gonna step away. That has literally never happened to me in my life. And my husband was there, so he can vouch for the fact that I wasn't being nasty. Yeah, I, mean, I was being firm and I was arguing. She was with being him. she was being firm, advocating for herself. I was advocating also. And I was also crying and visibly, saying I want to live. Visibly upset. The doctor just decided that I mean, he also I guess wanted faith to collect her emotions as well, but he, he definitely was personally offended and, and I guess he didn't want to say anything he shouldn't have said, which I guess is smart in his part, but he he basically stormed out and it's like, I'm coming back, which I, I've never been a part of. I found but. that very odd and unprofessional. Like I said, I could see if I was like cursing him out or something, but I was just saying, I'm very concerned and I want to know exactly why, you know, this is not going to be investigated further. And he was kind of like, oh, you know, lumps come and go. That is literally what doctor said to me in the first place. And you know what? I hope he's right. I don't want to have cancer. I don't want to go through more treatment. I don't want to deal with anything going forward. But I want a better answer than lumps come and go. He couldn't give me an answer for why the lumps were there. He, he also was um, upset because he, quote, felt like Faith came in with a loaded gun and ammunition re ready to go and almost accusatory. But... She was just prepared to advocate for her physical symptoms that are an extreme concern. Yeah, especially... and, then, and then he literally said to me, he's like, I feel like you're arguing with me. I'm like, well, why wouldn't I argue with you? Like, this is my life. 
and uh, I want to live. And you're not giving me, as far as I can tell, a good reason why we're not going to investigate this further other than that they're, they're not, they don't meet the criteria. He said, according to our criteria, you're still in remission. I'm like, okay, so can you guarantee me, can you tell me for sure that this is not cancer? And he's like, no, I can't guarantee you that. He's like, he's like, it could go either way. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be comfortable with that? So event eventually, Faith peeked out in the hallway and asked the nurse where he was. He came back. he was gone for like almost 10, 10 minutes. minutes? Just leaving us sitting there? He, he came in with a, uh, I guess, I don't know, a fresh mindset, but he's like, let's start over. And, and he did feel her neck again. Um, but he looked like he was like annoyed to have to feel it. Yeah, he, he felt. I was like, he I really felt want it, you to feel this. He felt it reluctantly. So I guess basically the the outcome was he he said he would move her six month scan up and make it a three month scan. I guess was a, a small win. But I just didn't like the way I was treated. I was literally like crying, and I was like, I feel like I'm being like brushed off. I'm being diminished. Like I have symptoms, like, and I also said, like, I've been having some night sweats, like I've been getting like some random pains, like, and he, he had no explanation for that. The yeah. night sweats and the random neck or head pain. He just he, he just he kept said, saying, based on, based we... on our criteria, you're still in remission. So there's nothing we can further do. And, and no and, explanation for the symptoms. I was like, I'm really upset right now because of, I feel like nothing's being done. And then, then he got like mad. He's like, I'm getting personally offended by you saying that nothing's being done. He's like, he reiterated how he moved up the yeah. appointment, which he, he did. He was like, he was like the second you, you reached out and said you were concerned about lumps in your neck, we scheduled your scan right away. We scheduled an appointment with you right away. He's like, how he's like, now I'm going to move your scan up three months instead of six months. How are you going to say nothing's being done? So I was fine. Like, okay, like, I guess that's being done, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like, why are we going to wait? And we're, we're also considering possibly a, a second opinion from someone of interest at, at a different facility, maybe in like a month or so. But yeah, it's a waiting game. It, it definitely wasn't the way we wanted this visit to go. But... I mean, and I understand, like, I was in no way wanting someone to start giving me treatments of chemotherapy that I understand are very toxic without there being a 100% guarantee that it's cancer. Of course, like I wasn't like, put me on chemotherapy tomorrow. If some doctor was, was gonna say, I'm gonna put you on chemotherapy tomorrow, I would think that that was a lot worse than what happened today. Like obviously you need to confirm that it's cancer before you start doing these very intensive treatments that obviously have significant side effects. You don't wanna do those treatments unless it's absolutely necessary. So I understand that. Like I'm not saying that I wanted to get treatments tomorrow. It was a tough visit for, for both, all, all parties involved. And then you kept but... saying, like, I feel personally offended. I've done everything to treat you well. And this, like, he didn't want me, he wanted me to just be like, yay, I'm in remission. Thank you. Thank you for curing me. Like, he didn't want me to question what's going on in my neck. And then when he couldn't tell me what's going on in my neck, other than, well, I can't tell you it's not cancer. Like, I was supposed to just be satisfied with that. I wasn't supposed to argue that and say, shouldn't we like i'm like isn't the point of these visits is that if the patient and the doctor notice things that are red flags to make a diagnosis sooner than later i don't want to I, I hope you know, i hope beyond hopes that a few months from now these things just go away and it was just one of those things or maybe like i'm like fighting off a cold who knows I hope behind hopes that that's it. But what if it turns out that it is the cancer? Then we're gonna say, oh, well, you know, we could have done something six months ago, but let's just he, let it go. He also, like, he also said, to me. his response to that was, the curative rate is not different depending if they detected it sooner or later on the relapse. Yeah, so he, which makes no sense to me. Because when I was saying that to him, I'm like, what if it is something? Wouldn't it be better to identify it now rather than wait and he's, then that was his response well if you are relapsing then it's not going to make a difference in terms of like your outcome yeah but which I, I mean he's the professional like he's a renowned doctor and you know I trust that what he's saying is true but that just seems odd to me that I, I mean I've always thought early detection like is directly connected to the outcome but 
he 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 knows better. refuted that anyhow i don't know we could ramble about this all it, day but it ended it, on a positive note yeah it ended on a positive note Faith, he said a hug he said i'm can i give you a hug he's like i was like and i apologize i'm like i'm sorry if like it came across like i was attacking you i'm just advocating for myself and i'm very concerned and he said that he's taking good care of me and he doesn't want to be accused of not taking good care of me and that you know and we're gonna have the next scan in three months instead of six months and for me to try to not feel my nap between now and then basically so yeah stay stay tuned and i was just very happy that my husband was there with me and he um supported me and um when they were you know i felt like diminishing my concerns he said i feel lumps in my wife's neck like i feel them like yeah i said how come <laughs> i don't feel any in mine and he's like well you may or may not like it was just yeah. like so vague yeah but anyhow thanks for all your support and prayers yeah we appreciate it and hopefully this is nothing but just um still feel unsettled but thank you guys and um i'll keep you posted I'm gonna try to take my mind off of it and um hopefully it goes away and I'm gonna get back to focusing on my family and my book and um yeah get my scan in three months bye